hello guys welcome back again to this community so in today's video we want to look at how to resolve git conflict okay so as a developer or maybe a software engineer sometime you hear when you're working with git which is a version control system and typically a distributed version control system so you find yourself sometimes in a git conflict situation where you have uh, different commits different developers are working from two different branches and maybe from one source code from the same source code and they find themselves into merging conflict so we want to look at everything about that concept today and how to get that fixed let's first of all begin by making a directory the directory we want to work from so want to make a directory call um, merge okay so it's a much uh, conflict that one is solved so that's why i want to make it a directory let's call it uh much and let's get into let's see the into this directory okay let's see the into the directory called merge and we want to create a file all right so this file we want to create it's a source code Okay, let's say there exists a particular source code that um, it's already it's in a remote repository. Okay, that two separate developers are going to who are working from different branches. Let's say branch A and branch B, or developer A and developer B will pull this code from the remote uh, repository and worked on and get the code merged back onto the master's branch and without creating maybe pull requests from their different branches and maybe that merge process cause or a merge conflict so that is what we're trying to solve here right now let's say the file name is let's call it test test one okay so that's the file name so we created a file called test1 so let's cd into that test file so we cd into a test file and we want to put an initial code in this so we'll say initial code there is this initial code okay this initial code in that file so let me go ahead and save this initial code okay so what I'm doing is before I actually VI into this code or maybe get into this uh, into the file I actually use the command VI so that's how I got in here then for me to get it to cause it to be able to edit the file I had to be in an insert mode and to be in an insert mode you simply press the key I so I press the key I did my editing and I want to save it so to save it you use column W Q column W Q that's that's it and you hit enter so if you cut the file now that's if you want to see the content of the file you want to cut test one if you cut it you'll see right here it says test code all right so you want to check to be sure that you have an initial code i mean the initial code you have an initial code inside this file when i do this i can see the file test one okay and it is not yet committed so we want to go ahead and commit this file so we'll first of all do a git add the file that is one stage the file and if you do a git status you see that the file has been staged once the file has been staged it's going to be green so you see that new file so it's been staged right now so we want to do a git commit let's get the file committed 
git commit minus m so our initial commit we want to call it our initial code we are committing our initial code so git commit minus m that's it and so this is it so we've created we've committed the file test file okay and this is on the master branch okay because if you do a git branch you want to see on the master branch git branch we are on the branch master all right this is in uh, this is on a remote repository right now let's say you have two developers and they want to work on this on this code all right they want to build develop features on that code they want to do uh, to do some work on it because they cannot be both working from the master branch they will have to create their different master bran different branches of the master branch before they get they start getting the work done so let's say the first developer comes in here and create a let's go ahead and create uh, branches git branch the first developer creates a branch um, called uh, let's say uh, the first branch branch a okay so call it def a developer a that's why you let's call him developer a the first developer developer a so it creates this it creates a branch it comes in create a branch and you also have developer b comes in and also create a branch i'm doing some work on it on the file i've added my own code developer a code right so and i want to save this code so uh i'll do a call w i'll do um uh, this wq and i step out right okay i've added my own code on that and i want to do okay so i'm working right i'm developer a i've done my own work on that and i've added my own code on it so a has done his work on that initial code he has already collaborated and done his own work on it so he want to do a git art can do a git art and commit and get the code committed and do a git commit as well git committed so he's saving it on branch a remember guys he's saving it on branch a so then the developer b comes in now and he want to work on the same file. he's working on the same file remember they both have these files in their separate local machines and they're working on it all right this file was in a remote uh, uh in, a, in on a remote server so they pull this file onto their different separate local local machines and they're working on this on this code they're collaborating on this work so that's why they created branches they don't want to work from the mesh from the main branch okay because they don't want to mess up with any work that is currently on the main branch that is currently functioning so that's why they did create the branches and pull out pull out the, 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 the codes in on their local repository and they're working on it so that's why b now comes in he has switched to branch b okay look at that initially when we switched to branch b, b earlier the problem was there was a modification on file test one so which has not been saved by a so that's why i saw that modification and i said okay hey let's go ahead and save it let a go ahead if because it's working separately and b is working separately but they are all working on the same file from their separate from their two separate local machines so this guy he want to do a vi into test one let's see what you're gonna get you see that in here the code is still the initial code okay you see the initial code so that's why um, 
I said the files are on their separate local machines. All right. So he comes in on this file. Remember the time he's working on this file, A is working from a different branch and he's doing his own contribution. So he comes in on this file and do his own work and do his own contribution. Let's say code for the developer B. He has added his code onto the same work, onto the file. So let's see this. He saved his work. And step out, do a git status. Let's say we do a git status. Okay. So we see that we have a file test one that has been modified by him as well. So he will go ahead and do a git. So we'll go ahead and do, uh, let's do a git art. We want to add the file to the stage, we want to stage the file and get the file committed. Git stage, git commit. Git commit. Uh, minus. M. Then we say added code B. Okay, we're saying the developer B has just done his own work and is adding his own commitment, right? So, mm, okay, we got maybe we missed out something. Let's see what we missed, guys. Let's clear our screen and see what we missed yeah so I have git commit add a code B yeah this one is good We're up to here let's see what we have oh okay I see what we're missing we're missing this it's supposed to be uh, a column so that's it so he has saved his own changes as well right on the branch on its own branch branch B okay so let's now see what is going to happen I want to do a git checkout initial code okay perfect so it shows that on the master branch the two files are still showing initial code but the other two developers they already did their own contributions okay they've done their contributions to the different codes to the code but there so he want to do he want to he want to get the two the two files the two uh, different contributions much so let's see for the branch for the branch def a so let's see git merge def a perfect so he has if added you see they've merged that the work of the developer a All right so we have because he actually did his commit, save his work, and push his work for the master branch to get it merged. And we want to do the same for B. If we want to do B right now, we'll have git conflict. This is what we're saying, right? So <laughs> there is merge conflict right here, right here. Okay. So we have successfully show how Sim we have simulated uh, how conflict can occur. You have two different uh, developers. They're working on different. They're making their contributions on the same file from their different local repositories, and two of the works are being merged onto the master branch without creating pull requests for review and getting the work added to the master branch. So it has got caused a merge conflict. Then, so how do we fix this situation? How do we fix this situation, guys? So right from here, there is a tool called uh, uh, merge tool that you can fix it. But before you do that, you first of all invite the two developers. Invite the two developers, have a conversation 
with the two developers A and B. They will review the code. They can choose to make a choice that, okay, hey, let's delete my code and go ahead with this same person's, go ahead with the person's code. If they were maybe trying to build the same feature, they can both agree on which of the code should they delete. That will work, right? But if they, were, they weren't worrying, working on uh, the same features, they were working on separate features, and we really want to merge this one to br bring their two works, their two contributions onto the master branch. How do you get that fixed? So that's why we want to bring in this tool called the, uh, the merge tool. So we'll do a git merge tool. So this is a so if if they were working on the same feature or just agree which one should they delete maybe a will say okay yeah b's code look good they can, we can go with b's code and that's fine but they were working on two separate features and want to bring in these two features together so we'll do a git merge tool if you do a git merge tool it's going to tell you this hey tool this is it and it will give you all this message but the only thing you want to do is to hit enter. Once you hit enter, you'll see the different works. Okay, don't be scared about the different works because this is initial code. Okay, this is the initial code. The one in the middle here is the initial code. Okay, that was first of all in the file. So the developer A pulled the work, he pulled the initial code from a local repository into onto his local from a remote repository onto his local repository and get and got this work and added this feature did this code on it on that same file b also put it put the same work added its own contribution so this is his own contribution developer b and so there are two separate contributions these are the two called separate contributions here so if they were working building the same code if they were making the same contribution b may just say okay yeah let's go with the code of developer a so they'll just delete the, the developer b's code from here but if they're working on separate features and want to see how we can get it merged so the good news is this is an editable file this is a vi file okay so we can go ahead get into an insert mode and actually come to this code we first of all make sure we get all of this deleted we want to merge this work okay so that, that is a hey, you see we want to get this work merged perfect we get right here that is a code this is developer B's code right so we want to delete all this. You have developers A code and developer B's code. So that's it. Alright. So we'll go ahead and save it. Save the file. We'll take column W Q. Alright. And you hit enter. Okay. And you're going to continue to quit. To quit until let's continue to go. So we'll exit perfect so if we do uh if we we'll cut the file let's cut the file let's cut the file test let's cut the test file right now okay let's cut let's cut the file the test file one okay so we see now that the file contains the initial code the developers code and he also has a uh, developer A's code and also the developer B's code okay so we did the correction manually you can see that guys let's clear our screen if you want to see if the file is in it so you just want to cut the content or the file test one you see that there are different contributions the initial code is present the 
test code, I mean, develop the, the developer A's code is present and developer B's code is also present, right? Okay, then from here, you can go ahead and do your git merge. So we now do, the file is safe, but let's first of all do our git status, just to be sure that it's not just, let's see what we have. Okay, perfect. You see this? This is a file. This is, they've done the, the modification in this. This is a file that has an error that caused a code conflict because it has all the, the tool mess and the correction has been done here. So this is what we want to save. We want to merge onto the master branch. And to do that, we, because right now the file has been staged already, it's been staged. Okay, so we can just do a git uh, commit for the, for the file test one. So we'll do a git. We can do a git. We can do a git commit. Minus M. So we're doing a merged. Let's see, it's the merge conflict. So we want to do a merge conflict. Merge conflict. Sorry guys, I guess you guys are not seeing. So let me clear my screen so you can see what I'm saying. So we want to do a git commit and make sure that we are, uh, because the file is, is staged, but we are on the master branch, so we want to do that much. We are, if we do a git commit, automatically it's now going to save the two, the two works, the two works, the two contributions from the two different developers. So you see what we have here. So we have committed this work onto the master branch, and this is a commit ID onto the master branch, and this is. I mean, this is a commit message also as well. And this is the commit ID. And this is the branch that we have committed the work on. So if we do a git merge right now, you will not see anything like git conflict. So we'll do a git merge. Test one. You will not see anything like conflict. So you see that? So that I've merged test one. I mean, I'd have merged the file test one. And so at this time, the conflict is resolved. So there's no problem at this time. The conflict is resolved. Okay, conflict resolved. So if you do cut, let's do, let's cut, let's cut the file. Uh, Let's do a git status first. Let's do a git status. You see that we do not have the file anymore in the, that situation. Okay, we have just this one. This one is the one with the error. So the one, the one with the test one is already fixed. So if someone maybe wanna see the error that the conflict that was caused, you can always see it from here. Okay, you can always see it from here, but the other one, test one, the error has been fixed, so that's why we cannot have it again. So, but we can do a git. Let's do a git checkout. Let's do a git checkout to branch B. Let's say we are developer B. Let's see if developer B can see what has happened. Git checkout, we switch to branch B. And you want to cut, you will do want to do a git status let's see if or maybe let's say he ls first you want to ls okay there are the two files are existing in this environment right now i mean on this branch right now 
and maybe he decides to cut and see the content of the file test one okay so right now he has seen just the initial code and his code okay because the work that is on the master branch is still the work that is on his, on the master branch is in a remote repository okay it is not on his branch but he can pull it and he will see it if he pull the report the count the, the the files from the remote repository and bring it on to his branch he will see that there is there are two contributions on this on this file test one so we can watch another video but i would say beyond this level if you want to do any other thing right now is beyond the content of the prescribed video okay so that's why we can stop here right now okay guys thank you for watching uh, always come back to this community we have interesting things interesting videos for you thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.